Hello everybody, in this video we'll continue speaking about the important link that we have to see uh, before going to the Professional Cloud Security Engineer uh, exam from Google Cloud. Uh, the first link here is the main page of the certification and the second one uh, is a learning path from the Google Cloud Skills Boost. Uh, we have spoken about these two links before in our previous video so we'll start here from the third link the exam guide what is the exam guide uh, the exam guide is a lot of topics that we have to study very well before going to the exam it divided to four categories and every every section or category contain a lot of points uh, my advice here Start, is start uh, by studying uh, the courses and after studying the courses we can go here and read this topic if we understand this topic from the courses this is uh, fine if not we have to study it from uh, the documentation of uh, the Do Google Cloud documentation because the exam is not only about the courses we have seen before but also cover all uh, the topics and point uh, shown here okay uh, after the exam guide there is very important part which is the practical part the practical part is very important because uh, the exam is uh, the certification exam from Google Cloud is just uh, is, uh, is not only for uh, theoretical uh, things but also containing questions that need practical experience so this quest uh, divided in two laps and if I click on the first lap when we start the lab uh, it will give us by clicking on this button it will give us a session on Google Cloud Console where we have to complete uh, some tasks and uh, we have to have the full mark for every task and for every task if we go to uh, first task here it will give us uh, steps that we have to do uh, to can finish uh, the lab uh, if you go back to the quest itself when you finish the lab we will have uh, a green check here and the quest uh, have a lot of labs and when we complete all the labs of the quest we will get a badge regarding this quest here we have a very important lab which is a challenge lab uh, the challenge lab containing tasks uh, like any other lab but it uh, does not give us any uh, steps to do so in the challenge lab we have to do the tasks by ourselves either by uh, uh, knowing about these tasks from the previous lab in the quest or by searching it in the, in, in, on the internet as we can see here the challenge scenario your challenge there is no any steps only they ask, uh, ask us for uh, tasks to do without any steps so it's very important uh, to be sure from your practical, practical experience uh, there is another uh, quest here uh, the first one we, we said before we see, uh, seen before it's regarding uh, network in general and this is regarding security and in the same way contain a lot of lab and the last one is a challenge lab also there is an important link here uh, which is the sample questions the sample questions is about 20 questions uh, that it seems like the questions that you can see in the exam my advice here is to put yourself in an environment like what will happen during the exam so uh, put yourself in a room where nobody can interrupt you and try to solve uh, these questions in about uh, 45 minutes why? because uh, the real exam is about uh, 50 questions in 2 hours so because these uh, sample questions are about uh, 20 questions so we can solve it in 45 uh, minutes and after finishing uh, the questions here uh, we have uh, to read the feedback that will be uh, given to us uh, by the form and uh, it's very important to know why this question have this correct answer uh, 
and not only to know this is correct, this is wrong, but to understand why this answer is the correct answer for each is the correct answer for each for every question in uh, those sample questions. After that, we can uh, uh, ready we can if you are ready to the exam, we can actually register to take the exam. If uh, we go here, uh, we can register to take an exam. There are a lot of important notes we have uh, to see here. First of all, be sure uh, your profile contain your name as it appear in your uh, ID, in your government ID where you have uh, uh, your name and your photo at your ID. Uh, and also, uh, if you go to the register for an exam, this is all the certification from Google Cloud. We can look for security. We can take the exam either remote or on-site, remote where you can take the exam uh, at home or at office, uh, and also on-site where you go to specific centers uh, chosen by Google Cloud to uh, take the exam on-site. If you click buy now on on-site, uh, you will be uh, go uh, to choose which, uh, which center you can take uh, the exam. And if you click on remote one, you have here to choose a day and choose a time slot. Uh, it's very important here to read every word in, in every page during uh, your, uh, your registration for the exam. This is very important because maybe you do something that's not allowed uh, and you don't know this is not allowed because you do not read uh, every word here. So it's very important to read every word in, 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 in this uh, uh, website during your registration. And if it's totally fine, you acknowledge and click select. After that, you will go to pay. And if you have a promotion code, you may use it to uh, decrease uh, the, uh, your payment. It's also important uh, to note here uh, there is OLB resources where uh, regarding if you will take the exam uh, on home remotely, uh, my advice is not to use the if you will take at, uh, the exam at your office, do not use uh, the network provided by uh, your uh, your office because maybe it have some restrictions uh, that prevent, prevent the exam uh, from uh, from being ready for you to take uh, remotely. Here uh, you will know uh, that we can take the exam on Windows machine or Mac machine and this is the specs needed for your machine uh, to take the exam. It's uh, very important to be sure your network uh, can uh, do this uh, uh, this is have this is specs such as uh, the upload and download speed, also the, the bang time and jitter and so on. And we have to download the secure browser, which is a software that will be downloaded and installed in your machine. Uh, so during the exam, you will be only allowed to uh, see the exam itself and can't open any other uh, software in your machine. And it's if this is your first time to take uh, any exam at Google Cloud, you have to uh, create your biometric profile. And uh, this is uh, something like uh, take your photo to be sure uh, uh, after that this is you and you only uh, the one uh, who always takes the exam. Uh, please be sure in your profile you write your name as it appear in, uh, in, in your governmental ID because uh, they will check uh, during uh, or before taking the exam and in blue we will uh, uh, check your ID and will it check using the camera of your uh, of your uh, machine uh, your environment uh, that you set at uh, a very quiet room uh, and you have a light in the room and nobody can interrupt you uh, you will uh, show to the employee uh, 
uh, your environment using the, the, the camera in your uh, laptop uh, during the exam your mic and photo will be taken uh, so they are very sure that nobody can help you or interrupt you during uh, the exam I hope uh, this help you in preparing yourself uh, for the exam and the security uh, certification professional security certification from Google Cloud uh, thank you very much and uh, see you soon where we will starting speaking about uh, the modules of self of uh, the learning bus of uh, Google Cloud certification uh, certification professional certification uh, of security engineer thank you very much and see you soon